I'm dancing on my own. Boom! The Phillies took game one of the NL Championship Series. It was a huge win for the Phillies, beating the Diamondbacks Ace and Zach Gallon. I thought Zach Gallon was going to struggle. He was from South Jersey. I think there was too much pressure on him playing at Citizens Bank Park. And his strategy of trying to get hit ahead of the Phillies hitters with fastballs definitely backfired. First pitch of the game, Schwarber puts one in the bleachers. We also got home runs from Bryce Harper. Let's preview Game 2 of the NL Championship Series. In Game 2 of the NL Championship Series, we have Merrill Kelly for the Diamondbacks, and pitching for the Phillies is Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola has pretty much been unhittable in his last four starts. 2-0, 1.78 ERA. He looks to get the Phillies to a 2-0 lead, and man, Merrill Kelly has to step up. He's been really good all season for the Diamondbacks. Probably their best pitcher, in my opinion. And if they go 0-2... The series is pretty much a lock. Teams that win the first game is like 64% of the time they win the series. 2-0 jumps to like 80%, right? The key for Arizona to win this game is to get to Aaron Nola early. Because if you can get to Aaron Nola early, you can get him out of the game by the fourth or fifth inning. Because that second and third time through the lineup, Aaron Nola definitely starts to struggle a little bit. He has been better in the last month or so, but he went through periods of the regular season where he was barely getting through the fourth inning. So that's what Arizona has to do. Carroll and Marte have to get on early and have some of those big boppers later in the lineup drive them in. If Arizona goes down 0-2 in this series, I don't like their chances to sweep all three games in Arizona. So even if the Phillies take one, that means they only have to win one more game at home in game six and seven to win the series. So this game too is a must win game for Arizona. For the Phillies, Nick Castellanos continues to drive this offense. He's got five home runs in the last three games, and he's having one of the most prolific postseason runs in the history of Major League Baseball. And Rob Thompson decided to keep Alec Bowman in that fourth hole and keep Castellanos batting seventh. And it proved to work out because Castellanos hit another dinger yesterday and Schwarber finally got the ball rolling. As he sees more right-handed pitching, we're going to see Kyle Schwarber. He's going to start bashing some long balls too. But this team looks almost unbeatable right now. If they continue to get great starting pitching from Zach Wheeler, Aaron Nola, and Game 3's pitcher, lefty Ranger Suarez, this team might not only beat Arizona, but they could potentially sweep them in four games. Arizona has to win today. If they don't win, this series is almost over. I love the Phillies in this spot. I think Aaron Nola keeps the ball rolling, and I think he wants to, he's pitching for a contract. He's a free agent at the end of the year, so we'll forget about that kind of mediocre regular season if he pitches like a true ace in the postseason. I like the Phillies to win this game 7-3. to three. Let me know in the comments below who do you think is going to win this game. Do you think Arizona can right the ship, get the ball rolling, and even this series at 1-1 one one and head back to Arizona with a tie series? Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you guys on the next game. Peace!